Hi, I'm Davina from SheepAndStitch.com and today I'll show you how to do the purl stitch. The purl stitch is the second most important stitch in knitting, the first being the knit stitch. The knit stitch and purl stitch are the building blocks of knitting. When you master these two stitches, you'll be able to knit a whole world of beautiful stitch patterns like stockinette stitch, seed stitch, ribbing, and more. In this video, I'll do a demo of how to knit a purl stitch and then I'll go through the anatomy of the purl stitch and how it's opposite to and yet the same as the knit stitch. Intriguing? Yeah, so make sure to stick around for that. I've got some stitches cast onto my left needle and my right needle is just a bare naked needle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is take my right needle and go into this first stitch from the top to the bottom, okay? So I'm pushing in the needle from the top to the bottom, okay? Now I'm gonna take the yarn and I'm gonna throw it over my right needle. So the yarn should always be in front of the needle. All right, now I'm gonna take the yarn and wrap it around the right needle from the back to the front, just like that, okay? So I'll do it again. The yarn is in front of the needle and I'm gonna take it and wrap it from the back to the front around the right needle. Then I'm gonna kind of push my needle through and grab the loop that I just made and then drop it off the needle. Okay, now at this point, this yarn, the tail end of your cast on may start to ride up, which is annoying. So I'm just gonna grab it and pull down so it's nice and secure. And then pull the working yarn just to tighten up our first purl stitch. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm gonna take my right needle and push it into the second stitch from the top to the bottom, okay? Then I'm gonna make sure my yarn is up front, okay, in front of the needle. So I don't want it to be back here, okay? I want it to be over the needle, okay? So you can just throw it over the needle like this. All right, then I'm gonna take my working yarn, which is in front of the needle, and wrap it around my right needle from the back to the front, just like that. And now I'm gonna kind of twist my needle and you can see this little loop. I'm gonna grab it and then drop it off the needle. And that is my second purl stitch. All right, let's do it again. So we're gonna take our right needle, go into our stitch from the top to the bottom. Then we're gonna make sure our yarn is up front and wrap it around the needle from the back to the front like that. And then this loop that we've just made by wrapping our yarn around, we're going to kind of pick it through the loop here. There you go. Push our needle in, drop it off the needle. Okay? And that's all there is to the purl stitch. All right, we're gonna just do this a couple times so you can get a hang of it. So we're gonna use our right needle, go into the next stitch from the top to the bottom. Okay? And our yarn is in front. We're gonna wrap it around our needle and then pick out that loop through the stitch here. There it is. And we're gonna pull it off, okay? So we're making sure that our yarn is in front of the needle so it's not back here, right, where we normally have it when we knit. The yarn is up front like this, okay? So this is the thing you can remember. With the yarn, you can just move it back and forth and back and forth, okay? So your yarn should be up front. Okay, next we're going to use our right needle, go into the next stitch from the top to the bottom of the stitch. Okay, so we're not going in like this. Okay, when we knit, we normally go in like this. So we're not doing a, a knitting position. We're going into our stitch purl-wise from the top to the bottom, and the yarn is in front. We're going to wrap our yarn from the back to the front, okay? So we're not going from the front to the back, we're going in from the back to the front, okay? And then we're going to grab that loop that we've just made through the stitch on our left needle and then drop it off of the needle. And that is a purl stitch. So let's do that again. We're gonna make sure that our yarn is in front and our needle goes into the stitch from the top to the bottom. Then we're going to use our yarn, wrap it around the needle from the back to the front, and then pull it through the stitch on our left needle and then off the needle. 
Okay, let's do that again. So the yarn is in front, always in front, and we're going to push into the stitch from the top to the bottom, like this. And the yarn goes around from the back to the front, and then pull the loop through the stitch, and then off the needle. All right, so that's all there is to the purl stitch. Make sure that the yarn is in front of the right needle. It's not behind, it's in front. Then we're going to go into the next stitch from the top to the bottom. Then we're going to use the yarn and wrap it around the needle from the back to the front. We're not going in from the front to the back. It's gonna be from the back to the front. Then we're going to grab the loop we've made through the stitch and then off the needle. And that is a purl stitch. A purl stitch looks like a little bump or like a purl, like the ones in the ocean. Whereas a knit stitch looks like a little V shape. That's the best way to tell a knit from a purl. Knits are flat Vs while purls are little bumps. Now to make things even more confusing, a knit stitch is also a purl stitch and a purl stitch is also a knit stitch. <gasps> no, you haven't entered the twilight zone. If you flip around a row of purl stitches, you'll see that the backside of the purls are knits and the backside of knit stitches are purls. Knits and purls are two sides of the same coin. Or to give a better analogy, they're like the Roman god Janus who has two faces that look to the future and the past. You can think of one face as a purl stitch and the other face as a knit stitch. That's why when you knit garter stitch, also known as knitting every stitch and every row, what you end up with is not a sea of flat knit stitches. You actually get alternating rows of knits and purls. The bumpy rows are the purl rows, whereas the flat V shapes are the knit rows. So as you begin your knitting journey, remember that knitted fabric is made up of stitches and every stitch has two faces or two sides. Because knitting is two dimensional, it has a front facing side and a back facing side, sometimes called a right side and a wrong side. A knit stitch's wrong side is a purl stitch, and a purl stitch's wrong side is a knit stitch. And that's all for the purl stitch. For a recap of everything we've covered, check out the Sheep and Stitch blog, which I've linked in the description. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is part of the How to Knit series. If you want to check out the whole series, then head to sheepandstitch.com slash how dash to dash knit. It's an awesome page that I put together to help out beginners. It'll bring you from total noob to bona fide knitter. It's great and it's free. Okay, lastly, subscribe for more cool knitting videos. And if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!